Okay, hey everyone, how's it going? It's your brother Noah Hines. I hope that you guys are blessed in the name of Jesus Christ. If you are new to this YouTube channel, I just want to say welcome. I hope that you are blessed by this prayer. I'm going to be praying for your deliverance today. If you're not subscribed to this channel yet, make sure to go ahead and do so. And you can see other videos related to deliverance and other self-deliverance prayers. But what we're going to be praying about today is overcoming shame, overcoming embarrassment and disgrace. There's a really good verse in the book of Peter that describes how uh, he who believes in Jesus will never be put to shame. So you don't have to carry around shame and embarrassment and that internal bondage and weight that comes along with negative response to whether it be bullying, whether it be sexual abuse, whether it be you know things that you've gone through where you failed in life uh this these kinds of things can all bring about a weight of shame unto our lives so i'm going to be praying now in the name of jesus just make sure you find a comfortable place where you're not going to be distracted so you can listen to this prayer all the way through and receive deliverance so uh yeah guys i just encourage you to put your trust in what the lord promises that he who believes in jesus will never be put to shame you will never be confounded put to shame when your trust is in the lord jesus christ amen so i just want you guys to come into agreement with that promise in god's word and choose to let go of all shame and all that comes along with shame as well too i think a lot of times uh fear and uh it, hiding from people hiding from responsibilities and uh, you know depression even and hopelessness can start to come when you carry around shame because then you are just uh, disposed to having negativity and feeling like you're gonna fail and things aren't gonna work out right so I pray that's broken off you today in the name of Jesus so you don't have to pray at all then I'll just pray for you you can listen to this prayer you may experience different manifestations coughing burping yawning sneezing crying etc. Um, if you're listening to deliverance prayer and that's happened a vast majority of the time, it's because the demonic spirits are coming out. So anyways, guys, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll just go ahead and pray for you now. So Father, I thank you for the listener of this video. I thank you for my brother. I thank you for my sister, Father God. I pray in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ that they would be completely delivered from every demonic spirit, Father God. Father, we come against the strong man of shame. I come against bitterness that has come in through shame. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we command you spirits to leave right now. All shame that came in through failing in life goals, failing in the decisions and goals and dreams of one's life, I command that shame to be broken off right now in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Any demonic spirits that came into the mind through bullying, public embarrassment, uh, uh, public manipulation, manipulation from narcissist people, manipulation from selfish people. Father, we pray that it will be broken off the mind. All victim mentality that comes along with shame, we command it to go in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We thank you, Father God, that Jesus Christ took our shame on the cross so we don't have to be ashamed. Any demonic spirits that try to make people ashamed of their testimony, ashamed of God, ashamed of their Christianity, we command all shame to go. Come up and out, spirits. We command you to release them right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Ashamed about your past decisions. Ashamed about your past sins. I command it to go right now. Ashamed about committing abortion. Ashamed about uh, harming people. Ashamed about having done drugs. About having been a prostitute. Father, in the name of Jesus, I break all of that shame off. Your word says, Father, that you remember our sins and iniquities no more. That you throw them into the sea of forgetfulness so we thank you father god that they don't have to carry around the baggage and the bondage of the past sins even any past sins that they committed after they became born again i thank you father that they can let go of the shame and the baggage thereof in the name of the lord jesus christ i command every heavy weight to lift off them right now shame heaviness guilt false guilt. I come against false guilt right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Any demons that make it impossible for people to forgive themselves, unforgiveness towards oneself, I command it to come up and out right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Any demons that block people from coming into alignment with the forgiveness that God has given them, we break that blockage. We break those stumbling stones and those hindrances right now in the name of Jesus. Come up all the way out, spirits. We burn you out in Jesus' mighty name, no rest for you, spirits. We burn you out. 
Father, I pray that every fiery dart of shame would be uprooted in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Come up and out, spirits, up and out of the mouth in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Come out. Hero mentality, feeling like you have to go and fix your past mistakes, feeling like you have to go and right every past wrong. We command that deception to be broken in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Come out, false guilt. Come out right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Condemnation, uh, guilt, shame, we command it out right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Come out, spirits. Go in the name of Jesus. Any evil memory recall of past failures, we command it to go. Any demons that came in through bullying, any spirits of suicide that came in through bullying, any word curses of inadequacy that came in through bullying, we command it broken right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Come up and out, spirits. Go, 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 go. All demons of humiliation, demons that came in through public humiliation, we bind you with a threefold cord and we command you to go to the abyss right now. We take authority over you, demons. You have no right in their lives. You have no legal rights. Your legal rights were destroyed on the cross 2,000 years ago. We thank you, Father, that Jesus Christ triumphed over principalities and powers, making an open spectacle of them, triumphing over them. We thank you, Father, that the devil is put to an open spectacle. We thank you, Father, that the devil's kingdom is put to an open shame. And Father, as your word says, he who believes in the Lord will never be confounded, will never be ashamed. I pray, Father, that you would fill them with confidence in your son. I pray that you would fill them with confidence in the identity that you have given them, Father God, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Father God, please fill them with confidence in the Lord Jesus Christ. Father God, please fill them with boldness. Father, your word says the righteous are as bold as lions. Please give them that boldness that flows from standing in a right relationship with you, Father God. We thank you in the name of Jesus Christ. I command all cowardice, all timidity, all fear spirits to come out now in the name of Jesus Christ. Come out spirits. Go in the name of Jesus. Come out. Come out. Fear of isolation. Fear of rejection. We command it broken right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I command all disgrace to go in the name of Jesus. I command all embarrassment. Embarrassment that came in through being embarrassed by your parents in an ungodly fashion. We command it to go right now. Any demons that make people accustomed to receiving evil, accustomed to being made fun of, accustomed to being taken advantage of, all soul wounds that have come in through rending, that have come in through rending from uh, being betrayed. Father, we pray that those soul wounds would be healed right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Any vampire spirits that are in their soul, that are draining their life, draining their joy, draining their happiness, draining their energy, that have come in through trauma, disgrace, embarrassment, humiliation. We break it all off right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Keep coming up and out right now, spirits. I command you to release them in the name of the Lord Jesus all the way out right now. Release them in the name of the Lord Jesus. We burn you spirits out. You have to go. Father, we pray the fire of God seven times hotter in Jesus' name. We pray the fire of the Holy Ghost hotter in the name of Jesus through the whole body. Lord, I pray that they would feel your fire and your presence burning up all of these demonic spirits in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Any shame that came in through being insecure about your physical appearance. Any demons that came in that, that torment you about your appearance, tell you you're ugly, tell you you're fat, tell you you're unattractive, tell you that there's nothing desirable inside of you. We command it out right now in the name of Jesus. I break those lies. All man-pleasing spirits come out of the mind. I command all man-pleasing, tormenting spirits to come out of the mind. In the name of the Lord Jesus, the word of God says that we are fearfully and wonderfully made. So we thank you, Father God, that they can accept who you've made them to be. All self-rejection, come out in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Double personality, double-mindedness that has come in as a result of rejecting one's own self, we command it out right now. Depression spirits and heaviness spirits that have come in through self-rejection and shame, we command it out right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Come out, spirits. Any demons still manifesting that are tormenting them about their past sins, we command it to go right now. The Bible says, 
God works all things out for the good of those who love him. The Bible teaches that God will turn our tests into a testimony. He will use our past for his glory. So we thank you, Father God, that you are using everything in the children of God's life for your glory, Father God, and for their growth. In the name of Jesus, I come against all evil memory recall of past sin, all evil memory recall of uh, past bullying, past trauma, past abuse. We command it out right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Any demonic spirits of bitterness that have come in through people rendering evil unto you, we command that bitterness to come out now in the name of Jesus. Any anger, rage, frustration, irritability that is triggered when they feel rejected, I command it out. All of those irritable spirits that have come in as a result of shame and humiliation, we command it to go. And any demons that lie in the mind about God's character. Any demons that prohibit people from trusting God properly. All demons that are on a mission to distort God's character. All demons that are on a mission to try to break uh, the children of God's trust in the character and the promises of God. We command it to go. Doubt and unbelief we command it out of the mind right now. Come out spirits. Go in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Feeling like God will not come through for you feeling like God will not avenge you. The Bible says that God will speedily avenge those who cry out to him day and night. So we thank you, Father God, that you vindicate the children of God, that they are not put to a shame, even in the midst of turmoil, even in the midst of tribulation and trials. Father, please give them peace to be able to endure trials without hastily concluding that something is not going to work out. All impatience and anxiety that makes people hastily hastily conclude negativity, hastily conclude defeat. We command it to go right now in the name of the Lord Jesus. The Bible says that Jesus did not revile when he was reviled against, but committed himself unto him who judges righteously. Father God, we thank you for that example of vindicating the Lord Jesus Christ. And I thank you, Father God, that you will vindicate my brothers and sisters as well too. In Jesus' mighty name, I command all gloominess, heaviness, Come out, come out of the body members right now, spirits. Come out of the chest, come out of the stomach, the shoulders. Release off the body, every heavy burden. I command it to release off the body in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We command you, spirits, to come out of the eyes, the nasal passage, the mouth, the ears, all of the body gates. Come out of the body gates right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. All the way out, spirits, we command you to release them now and come out in Jesus' name. Come out, you wicked spirits, we command you to flee in the mighty name of Jesus. We burn you up, hotter against you devils right now in Jesus' name. All the way out, all the way up and out. All the way up and out, spirits, I command you to flee right now in Jesus' name. You can't stay in there. We turn up the fire hotter in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Father God, I pray that they would feel your fire burning up these spirits, and I pray that they'd be able to let go in Jesus' name, Father, and give control and trust of their lives of their lives over to you, Father God, in the name of the Lord Jesus. Father, your word says that you sent your word and you healed your people and you delivered them from their distresses. So we thank you, Father God, that you always hear our prayers in the midst of distress, Father. Father, in the name of Jesus, I come against every demon that makes people feel God is not hearing them, God doesn't care for them. I break those lies and those deceptions and I command the demonic spirits to be uprooted in the name of the Lord Jesus. Jesus. Uproot out of the soul. Uproot out of the mind. Uproot out of the body. Right now, spirits, wherever you're hiding, whatever trauma, whatever open door, if you came down generationally, I don't care how many generations you've been there, spirits, be uprooted in Jesus' mighty name and come out of the mouth right now. As they breathe, you have to go in Jesus' name. Father, I pray that all roots of guilt that breed bad fruit, that bring about bad, rotten fruit, all false piety, false humility, feeling like you're humble for beating yourself up, self-torment, self-destruction, come out now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, feeling like it's humble to accept defeat, Fe being deceived to think that it's humble to accept um, negative thoughts about yourself. We command those deceptions to be broken. 
broken. Father, I pray that all lines of negative thinking about oneself would be broken. Any demons that make people conclude that there's an insufficiency in them when things in their life go wrong, we command that lie to be uprooted. Come up and out, spirits, right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We burn you out. We pray the fire of the Lord against you, spirits. You have to go in Jesus' name. Come out right now. Shame in your family. Shame in feeling like you could never measure up to your spouse's uh, requirements. Shame in feeling like you could never measure up to your parents' um, expectations. We command it to go. Fear of not measuring up to people's expectations. We command it broken. I command the fear, the man-pleasing spirits to come out now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Come out, spirits, out in the name of Jesus. Spirit of inadequacy that came in through disappointing others, that came in through others being disappointed with you. Come out now. Hypersensitivity, come out in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Putting to demons that make you put too much stock in the opinion, too much value in the opinion, in the approval of others. We command that deception to be broken in Jesus' name. Father, I pray that they would strive, that we would all strive father to only please you to please you and you alone father god in the name of the lord jesus christ come out spirits working for acceptance every demon that makes people work for acceptance work for approval self-performance performance spirits come out now in the name of the lord jesus christ Feeling the need to alter your personality, alter the way that you conduct your life to please others, we command it out right now in the name of Jesus. Come out, spirits. Go in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Every heavy burden that has come onto them as a result of high expectations, unnecessarily high expectations. We command it to go right now. Fear and anxiety that has come in through that. We command it out right now. We cut you devils with the sword of the spirit. We command you to release them and go out in Jesus name. Out in Jesus name. We burn you spirits out, up and out of the mouth out of the eyes, out of the nasal passage, come out of the frontal lobe, any demons creating pressure, tension in the forehead, I command you to release them right now. Control their spirits, release the mind, release the head. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we burn you spirits up right now, out in Jesus' name, out in the name of Jesus Christ, all the way out, spirits, we burn you out. Fire of the Lord against you, spirits, you have to go right now in Jesus' name, come up and out. Come up and out in the mighty, powerful name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Christ out right now you wicked spirits out right now you wicked spirits we command you to go in Jesus mighty name release them release them release them all the way out in the name of Jesus Christ Father God we pray that the spirit of shame embarrassment disgrace disappointment we pray that the demons even sitting under those spirits would all be uprooted every tree that does not bear good fruit we cut it down and throw it into the fire in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ Satan, we destroy your works in their life. You can no longer work these works in their life. We renounce them, we break them, and we command the demons that are causing these issues to come out in the name of Jesus Christ right now. Release out of the chest, release out of the stomach, out of the lower torso. Release and go in the name of Jesus, all the way out, spirits, in Jesus Christ's mighty name. We thank you, Father God. Father, please fill them with the Holy Spirit in the name of the Lord Jesus. Please fill them with joy and peace and boldness, Father. Boldness that comes from knowing your Son. Boldness that comes from trusting your Son. In the name of Jesus, we thank you, Father God. I pray that you would fill every empty void. And we seal this deliverance in the powerful name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And amen. God bless you guys in Jesus' name. If you're still receiving deliverance, you can click back to the beginning of this video and continue to rewatch it as many times as need be. And also, I have a playlist of other uh, over 50 other self-deliverance prayers. I'll have it in the description and hopefully the comment section as well, too. So I would encourage you to go and check out some of those other prayers because there's a, you could probably find other ones relevant to your situation. So that'll be down in the description of this video in the comment section so you can go check those out and I just want to encourage you guys to walk in holiness to walk in um, you know trusting God with your life and with your thoughts because these different shame spirits and embarrassment and fear 
they don't necessarily um, inherently drive you to do like outward sin, but you need to make sure to keep your mind focused on Jesus Christ, that you don't give in to the lies of the enemy in your mind, even on a day-to-day -day basis, even in the subconscious realm. Amen. So uh, that's pretty much what I have to say for this video, guys. Uh, please let me know how you guys are being blessed by these deliverance prayers down in the comment section. And as well, too, even if you would like to give your deliverance testimony over a short interview, feel free to send me an email about it. My email is in the description as well, too. Okay. So God bless you guys. I will see you in the next video. Amen.